hello everyone so now we are going to do one more dscp lab here if you see here this is our lan network here you have the two vlan okay we have the two vlan now we need to make the dscp server for different vlan so what we are going to give if you see we have vlan 10 and 20 vlan 10 is going to use this subnet 192.168.10.0 vlan 20 is going to use the subnet 192.168.20.0 and here I can say this will be the VLAN 10, this two PC. Okay, this two PC will be for VLAN 10 and this two PC for the VLAN 20. Okay, so we need to do the DSP configuration for this one. So here, if you go to this router CLI, we can say inside this router, I can go here, I can do the configuration. First of all, I will go to the interface. I will write interface f0 by 0 because this is only the interface which I have here here I will go I will write no IP address so I will remove the IP address now here we need to use the concept of sub interface because here you need to give the DSCP server you need to make this router as a DSCP server for two VLAN VLAN 10 this is VLAN 10 this is VLAN 20 so if you want to make the DSCP server this router this interface is going to give the IP for both the VLAN. So we need to assign the gateway this one and this one both we need to assign. So what we will do we will divide this interface into sub interface. If you have F0 by 0 I will write dot 10 for VLAN 10 and then I will write F0 by 0 dot 20 for VLAN 20. Like this I will divide this one. So what I will do here first of all we need to go into the main interface whatever the main interface you have and you need to write no IP address and then no shut after that we will divide if you want to divide you will write main interface dot 10 it is divided now this becomes sub interface and we plan this interface to give the VLAN 10 so we need to put the VLAN 10 tag here so we will write encapsulation dot 1q then VLAN ID here after that we will assign the IP whatever IP we want to assign for VLAN 10 gateway we will write that one. So this one I want to assign ok. After that I will write interface F0 by 0 dot 20. So it is a sub interface 20 we have. Then we will write encapsulation dot 1q 20. Then we will assign the IP whatever IP we want to give for this interface like we are planning to give this interface. 20.1 this will be the gateway for VLAN 20 ok and if you want to check you can write do show IP interface brief you can see here these are the two interface we are going to use this one for VLAN 10 this for for VLAN 20 this is the main interface we divide into sub interface now we need to do the configuration so I will write here IP DSCP pool and pool name I will give VLAN 10 ok you can give any name after that I will write here network whatever the network so we told we will give the network for VLAN 10 is 10.0 give 255 network ID we need to put there and subnet mask then default router and give the gateway what will be the gateway for this one so gateway as we told we gateway will be 10.1 if you have DNS you will write DNS is 8.8.8.8 .8 see here this is a DSCP configuration for VLAN 10 you need to write network and write the network ID for VLAN 10 and the subnet mask. For VLAN 10 we plan to give this subnet so I put here. Then write default router and put the gateway. What will be the gateway here? 10.1 or 20.1 anyone will be the gateway. 10.1 we plan for VLAN 10, 10.20.1 for VLAN 20. So this one we done for VLAN 10. Now I can do for VLAN 20 so I will write here IP DSCP pool ok VLAN 20 VLAN 20 after that network and write the network ID I will write 192.168.20. I will write here 192.168.20. so I need to write the 20 dot here so let me write here ok let me write here what will be the IP here we can say here 20.0 give space write 255.255.255.0 and then default router 192.168.20.1 okay this one we done here default router is 192.168.20.1
after that what we can do this is our configuration is finished you can check here show run and you can verify here we have the two pool here if you see this is the old one i have before so no need to see this one this two we are not using now this is the old router which i use so now you need to focus only this two or if you want we can remove also that configuration i can remove i can write row ip dscp pool lan 1 okay and the same thing i will write here lan 2 so this two pool will be removed now you can check show run and you can verify here this is for vlan 10 this is for vlan 20 dscp server configuration is done here now in this switch what you need to do in this switch you need to make this interface as a trunk which is going towards the router so here first i will change the name of this row switch i can say host name sw1 then interface f0 by 1 here i write switch port mode trunk okay i make this interface trunk and we need to create the vlan here i will create vlan 10 we have we have vlan 20 and i need to put the interface so if you see this is 2 and this is 3 so i need to put this to interface so i will write here interface range f0 by 2 dash 3 i will put switch port mode axis switch port switch port axis vlan 10 okay i make this port in vlan 10 then these two ports are remaining 4 and 5 so i will go here i will write here interface range f0 by 4 dash 5 i will write switch port mode axis then i will write switch port axis vlan 20 so this way i move this in vlan 20 i will save the configuration here also i will save the configuration in the router now we can test okay we can test that one so how we will test we need to go to this machine and go here and then you can check here first you click static after that click dscp and wait you are getting here see this machine get 10.2 you need to wait for some time some students are confused they are saying it is not working you need to wait this port should become green if this port did not become green this one then it will not work this port should become green because stp is working once this become green after that you can check see i am checking here here we get 10.3 and this pc for vlan 20 you can go here and check here for vlan 20 you will get ip here see 20.2 and here if you see go here and put here and check here you have 20.3 so we are getting the ip from dscp okay different vlan we have we are getting the ip from dscp let me show you again go here click static then again click dscp so you will get the ip from this server this router is giving the ip for vlan 10 and 20 clear right okay thank you bye